Okay, hi, welcome to my home. Uh, today is really going to be a cool day because you're going to see turtle scum not whacking off to me anymore. Excuse me, we've got to cut that. <laughs> not, being, not being aroused by me anymore. Turtle scum gets to see some shit heart and Valentina Lukai. What you're going to see is pre-exam conferences. The first one I'm going to do with some shit heart, uh, the lady who's to the left of me. And of course, it's in front of Judge McCree. So they're doing these heroin dealers have to get possession instead of possession with intent to deliver a 20 year max. They're getting a four year max and they're getting probation with 15 days on the workforce. Almost makes you want to sell heroin. The next case you're going to see is with some shit heart and Valentina Lukai. So, turtle scum, you watch these ladies and I never want to hear from you again. Have a great day. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Mr. James. Mr. James, all the way down Mr. Richardson is pleading guilty to breaking and entering the building. And there's an agreement to probation with 10 days in the workforce. And good morning again, please. My appearances of counsel first for the people. Garrett Garcia on behalf of the people. And now counsel for my respondents, please. May it please this honorable court, Jeffrey Perlman on behalf of Darnell Richardson. Counsel? Uh, thank you. And uh, now our introductions. Good morning, sir. Your name, please. Darnell Richardson. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. Sir, your name, please. Andre Claudio Dyer. Good evening, Mr. James. Sir, you are? Mr. Seahorn, the note on the file says you are not yet 21 years of age. Mr. Seahorn, what is your date of birth, please? Oh, right, very good. So you'll be 20 next summer. Oh, uh, you finish high school? Very good. Uh, what traditional high school did you attend before going the GED route? Sure, Oak Park High, and how far did you go through Oak Park High? Right, and uh, where did you take your class or preparatory uh, business for your um, GED? Uh, uh, Hazel Park. Sure, the Hazel Park Adult Ed Center, all right. And you said you're just one uh, test away. All right, very good. And lastly, sir, your name, please. Ronald Williams. And thank you, Mr. Williams, as well. Gentlemen, this is the date and time set for our pre-exam hearing, and I'm pleased to see that we have negotiated settlements as to all of your cases. We'll get to the discussion of our settlements in just a moment, and likewise, I believe it will probably be a capious as to uh, Defendant Turner, who did not appear. But, <coughs> Counsel, uh, sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. Valentino, yeah. looking at behalf of Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner is currently in custody with a different inmate number. That's why he was not brought over. Got you. All right. Uh, Mr. Hughes, then, what's our uh, next best date in the work, Mr. Turner? I can get Mr. Richardson out of here, but uh, I, I mean, he, we probably need to just make a record after because I don't know. Okay, good. All right. Why. It, all right, good. Mr. Lukai, if you just stands there for just a moment, we'll, we'll get that record in in just a moment. All right, as to our uh, gentlemen who are before us, Counselor, you have discussed with these fine gentlemen the rights they have to hold or waive their preliminary examinations. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. First, as to Mr. Darnell Richardson, sir, halfway down on the right side of this form and next to Mr. Perlman's signature, you've signed this form waiving your preliminary examination so that we may discuss how to settle your case. Is that correct, sir? And likewise, next to Ms. Hart's signature, Mr. James, you've signed your paperwork? As has Mr. Seahorn. And lastly, as has Mr. Williams. Thank you. The court is now satisfied with the proper waivers of the preliminary examinations as to all four defendants before the court at this time. These matters can now be bound over to today's date. And today is Tuesday, the 20th day of October 2009. Not guilty pleas are entered as to all defendants. As to all charges against them, they can stand mute. Collectively, counsels may the court waive formal reading. Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's get right to it. Mr. Garcia, beginning with Mr. Richardson, please advise as to his proposed settlement. As to Mr. Richardson, the people reduced count one to an attempt of breaking and entering a building. There will be a sentence agreement of probation with 10 days workforce, and the people would withdraw the habitual second. All right. Um, I don't know if any damage was done, Mr. Garcia, but with an attempted B&E, would there still be the element of restitution if damage was done to the building? I believe uh, restitution is mandated by is statute, that, Your Honor. Is that right? All right. Restitution if ordered. And, Mr. Richardson, um, I'll leave restitution to be determined. What happens is, in some cases involving B&Es, there's a broken door jam, a broken window, a pride lock. If there is a repair that is necessary, it becomes part of your restitution or part of your probation, as opposed to giving us jail time. But as you've heard, the charge is reduced to just an attempt, the lesser offense. You just get probation instead of any jail time, and you have the workforce and your agreement to stay out of trouble. 
But is this yeah. the settlement you're going to take today? Yes, sir. I believe it. Right. People, as to uh, Mr. Um, um, Andre James, please. As to Mr. James, the people will reduce count one to attempt possession with intent to deliver marijuana. There will be a sentence agreement of probation with five days workforce. That's it, you're right. All right, very good. And matter of fact, as to uh, Mr. James, Mr. Seahorn, and Mr. Williams, all of these cases involve very small amounts of a controlled substance, some narcotic, marijuana, I believe, heroin, and also cocaine. As you heard, you guys have been in the courtroom. Everyone gets urine screened on probation. When, if you're not doing jail time, if you're outside, you are going to get urine screened, and I screen everybody at least once a month. Some people, they're a little more problematic twice a month. To stay out, you got to stay clean. I don't make it any tougher than that. But you are getting tested beginning with the first day of probation. But again, Mr. James, likewise, your charge gets reduced to the lesser offense of just an attempt. You two get the probation. You get less time, just the minimum five days on the workforce, and the urine screens. Is that your understanding? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a nice deal. What do we have for young Mr. Seahorn? As to Mr. Seahorn, the people reduce count one from possession with an, uh, intent to deliver um, heroin to just possession of heroin. There'll be a sentence agreement of probation with 15 days workforce, and the people will dismiss count two, possession with intent to deliver cocaine. A deal. Drop the more serious count and reduce the other one to just simple possession. Still get probation. Any uh, uh, a chance for a Haida? Mr. Seahorn is under 21, or, do, or does he have a prior contact? <coughs> he says he's had a prior. Sir, you've had a prior case? Okay, right. Then we can't discuss the Haida, but uh, certainly we can go with a great deal like this. And, of course, he will finish his GED and again be subjected to your analysis. Last but not least, as to Ronald Williams, what do we have, Steve? As to Mr. Williams, the people will reduce count one to a simple possession of cocaine and uh, withdraw the habitual second, or the VCSA second, I mean, and there'll be a sense agreement of probation with 15 days workforce.